Did you catch the multiple nods to Tony Stark in the She-Hulk Attorney at Law trailer? How about the Titania tease or Frogman? Keep watching for these split-second moments and more. In the comics, Jennifer Walters was your average Los Angeles lawyer until crime boss Nicholas Trask shot her in a bid to get revenge on her dad. Her cousin, Bruce Banner, happened to be in town at the time and gave her a life-saving blood transfusion. It turns out that gamma rays are definitely bloodborne because Bruce's blood made Jennifer the super strong, super durable She-Hulk. She retains her wit and intelligence after hulking out though, which is only sometimes true for her cousin. The trailer for She-Hulk Attorney at Law hints that all that backstory has already happened in the MCU. Early in the trailer, there's a brief shot of a car crashing into some underbrush, though it initially seems like that may be the traumatic event that leads to the blood transfusion. We later see Jennifer's face turning green before a reflection in her dented car door reveals her She-Hulk form. It seems she's already got her gamma blood, or the transfusion happened right then and there. Like in the comics, the relationship between Bruce and Jennifer appears to be close-knit. There are flashes of Bruce mentoring Jennifer and teaching her how to control her powers, including him waking her up with an air horn. Yes! 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 No! No! The first place we see Bruce and Jen working together is a beautifully lush tropical hideaway. An even more interesting environment appears a few seconds later. In a high-tech facility, possibly underneath the tropical getaway given their attire, Bruce advises Jennifer on how to transform into She-Hulk. A helmet appears to monitor her brainwaves during the transformation. Bruce decides the best way to force Jennifer to transform and test her strength is to send a wall of spinning blades at her. Before they start up, you can see the first few letters of what appears to be the Stark Industries logo before they're activated. Given the many technologically advanced devices present, including those Stark blades, it seems possible this could be a Stark Industries funded lab of some kind. At a minimum, this suggests Bruce has kept some ties to Stark Industries. Even after the death of Tony Stark, the late Avengers technologies have made several appearances in the MCU, including in Spider-Man Far From Home. At one point in the She-Hulk Attorney at Law trailer, she falls back onto a bed in what looks like a mix of defeat and exasperation. Behind her head is a poster for a production of William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. So she loves theater. Great. But more importantly, it teases one of the most iconic She-Hulk villains from the comics. There's a character in the play called Titania, Queen of the Fairies. She gets into a fight with her husband, Oberon, which drives much of the main plot. It just so happens that Titania is also the name of a She-Hulk supervillain, who will be played by Jamila Jamil in the upcoming series. You can actually catch a quick glimpse of Jamil in character later on in the trailer as the two get into a tussle in what appears to be a courthouse. It's a fun nod to a supervillain finally getting her live-action debut and foreshadows things to come for Jennifer. The Avengers get a shout-out in the She-Hulk trailer, proving that even after Avengers Endgame, they're still on everyone's mind. But Jennifer Walters' take on the team isn't particularly reverent. She's clearly poking fun at Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Near the end of the trailer, Jennifer's friend Nikki suggests that She-Hulk could be one of the Avengers, which Jen finds rather comical. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. The billionaires and narcissists part seems to be directed at the late Tony Stark, who sure did fit the bill. In July 1980's The Savage She-Hulk No. 6, Jennifer Walters actually questions Tony Stark in court over his weapons dealing, so comics Jen certainly had an axe to grind at one point. The adult orphans part, though, could be directed at any number of Avengers. The She-Hulk Attorney at Law trailer doesn't shy away from calling back to the Hulk franchise's past. As expected, Bruce Banner features prominently on the show, but so does one of his greatest rivals, Emil Blonsky, better known as The Abomination. The former military man pops up in the teaser a couple of times in both his human and monster forms, confined to a maximum security prison cell. If you forgot about this villain, Tim Roth made his first appearance as Blonsky in 2008's The Incredible Hulk, giving Edward Norton's Moody Hulk a run for his money but ultimately lost. He ended up imprisoned at the vault and stayed there for over a decade. Surprisingly, Abomination returned in 2021's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings at the Golden Daggers Club, where he and Wong have been rigging fights together. How's the job? Start controlling those punches like we practice. 
in a true blink and you'll miss it moment in the trailer, a character that looks an awful lot like Frogman appears. Introduced in 1965, Frogman was originally François Leblanc, an Olympic-level athlete who joined the villainous Animan team. However, the arguably more popular version of the character is Eugene Patilio, who reinvents Frogman as a more heroic figure. Eugene's father was once known by the supervillain name Leapfrog. Eugene took on that name before reconsidering his life of crime and becoming the heroic Frogman instead. Many of Frogman's victories in the comics come from sheer luck rather than skill, and the character is often played for laughs. However, his suit does contain advanced technology that allows him to jump far and high, which is part of what makes his superhero name so apt. It's not entirely clear if the character in the trailer is meant to be Frogman, Leapfrog, or someone else entirely, but the resemblance to the comic book character is undeniable. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the MCU are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.